with that, we head up to MetLife Stadium as we'll hand it over to the two men that'll call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From the stadium that hosted Super Bowl 48 back in 2014, there's a look at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Ultimates and our home team. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. And leading them out there, we get a look at their 6-3 quarterback. And what's a quarterback's best friend? Balance? I think you're right. I agree with <laughs> You know, a lot of guys would say, great receiver, right? A terrific hey, offensive dude, line. But I agree with the balance because okay, if you can run the ball okay, effectively, that just opens okay. things up for guys who have to run and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to lead. And they say balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Hey, let's get in there. Let's get in there, Hat. Hit it. Second and ten. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. So here now, we go. early third and ten here on their opening Six. drive. Hey, hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. Dude. He'll drop to throw. They'll try to set up the screen. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the full yard line. Let's go. Give him ten there. Good enough for a Packer first down. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because Brandon, the guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. Here we go, set, 60 Pittsburgh. Let's set a tone, fellas, let's set a tone. Right. And first down, they drop to throw. And right side here, and that's complete. It's another 10 yards on that one, and another first down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Set, Going ready? to the air on the opening or. drive. So try, second try, in inches try, try. after that first down completion down. with just shy of the marker. Blitz. Blitz. Second down Blitz. in inches. Let's go, baby. Let's go. The yard or two shy of the 30. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on his first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Come on, set, 
Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They're not ready for this, man. They're not ready for this. They still fight. Y'all play a lot of and if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline as a play caller. You're filing Eight, that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to him between the second and the third level. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he shows you're responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? Playing out on this opening Indy. drive. This is third and long, okay, though. On this defense, no game. Ready, ready. The sack of play. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down go, inside go. the 10. And mark him at the 5. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Certainly not what they wanted defensively. They were hoping to hold them to a field goal. Instead, they're able to convert the third and long here on the opening drive. So not only was it a flip and field position and a flip and fortunes, but how about mentally? You just described it. They were hoping to force them into a field goal there. Instead, they give up the big game, and now it's first and goal. The offense has got them on their heels. Ready? 50, play. Six by six. Let's go. Double time, double time. Everyone's got four, four down. Go. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get blown Boom. up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and goal. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball, and sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Second and goal from the six this time. Get your swarm off. Deuce, 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 deuce. Get it. Second and six. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. That was a dangerous throw towards the end zone. Boy, did it hang up there forever. Wanted to run up there and pull it down out of the sky. Yeah, it felt like it really should have been intercepted. Lucky to have that one back. You've got to be more careful when you're that close to the goal line. 56, Mike, this has 56. been a long drive. You've you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. You Can they convert it on for the goal? Back to three. saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across. 
across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they'll be let out by the man running the show, Charles, their quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team Ready, to a break. victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, Hey, we got to get this shot here, He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. He has to do we got it. Go. As well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to do. No way to escape, and he goes down. Set, got him. Let's go for it, let's go. And if I'm an offensive coordinator, and I see an all-out rush like that, I follow it away. Because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Job becomes Mike, twice 51. as difficult so now after nothing. the sack. It's second and, and 20. And check 20. Hit it. And he'll give it here to his running back. I got it. I got it. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and yeah. long. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line. Hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Ready, ready. Yeah, it looks like we've Rudy got a Bates. dime set here defensively. Right, Six DBs right, right. in the game. Shoot! Operating for the game. Overhead. He's going to get his man out of the backfield. Complete. Give him four on the play. And that's going to bring out the fourth down. down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bring up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, got to him, and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. And they'll send out their punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. It's taken to the 26. set to take the field. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the effort to drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse I'm racing, ready. right? Boy, Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would Thunder say job. when you run in the big-time races. It means they got out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. A throw outside to start out. That's complete. And this winds up a gain of four to 41. That throw good for four. It's second down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. And you're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what Let's you go. just said. Ten Lobo. First quarter, can you do it hey, all game ball. long? The they catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're Step. able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage oh. for the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, you have to work hard to put that first down. And you tend to stall them out when you do that. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think it helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Down. 15, Lonnie. 15, Lonnie. Five. Second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. 18 Gator. Mike's 56. Okay, double up, double up, double up, double up. Second and nine now. And he gets this inside the Let's go, baby. Yard. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying
trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here we go, here this we go. This quarterback now, eight of 11 in this first half. Watch He's got slant. it first Watch and 10. Slant. Ready, ready. Gets past one man. so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch. Go, All times he'll just run past you the initial outlaw. point of contact, and he'll go deep. One, two, three, two. Let go. Inside the red zone here, they look to throw. This is the way you rehearse it. But right Give now, the, the play calling, they're locked Give in. Give me the grip. He's got a first down and much more inside the track. And just a young rookie, a lot of electricity yet to come in this career. Extra point right down the middle, and it makes the score 21 is in. Well, I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six.
kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out comes his field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he'll need to find a way to shrug off the opening drive, if you can even call it a drive. One play and an interception, so he's got to forget that. I know that in today's football, we have a good number of coaches who don't look at time of possession the way that the old school guys did. But there's still a place for it. I think they're on this drive after having Young thrown that interception. They're going to eat up a little bit more clock and run some offense and give their defense a little bit of a break. Second and nine from the 26. Yeah, let's get a sack lunch. Hit it. Now this time he'll look to throw. And it's caught here by Adams. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Ready. 70. Indy. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. Shoot! On first down, Abraham. The fine driver here. And they got it well across midfield. Down you to ready? the 40 you before ready? it's all said and done. The end result, 21 yards. Bring it. 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 Now. Abraham. Oh, 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 oh. Here, complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 26. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Down. This quarterback now after the pick on the last drive. Three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Five. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't yeah. happen on 15 that play. 15 line. 15 line. 58, right over there, right over there. Yeah, yeah. Mike. Right there. The running man. It'll go as a yeah. loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Another example right there of how this defense really is winning the entire game at the point of attack. Yeah, right there, the line of scrimmage, because they are dominating. It allows their interior guys to get upfield and spill into the backfield. So how are you going to combat that? You know, because they're bringing your tight end, keep him in. Your running backs, they have to step here forward. Go, here we go. Bottom line, your offensive line has to block them first to give yourself a chance. Mike. Mike. Ready, ready? I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. 
Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And the drive will wind up yielding three. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point to drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? You've got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Let's go, Bowie. Bring it up. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading on to the field again. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Oh, you can do it both ways. You should talk about it in Let's reverse, go. however. No doubt about it. A really good pickup of 28 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Set, ready. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Get it. He looked to throw. Looking left side, he's got it complete. It's an inside the 35 and just let's go, let's go. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Big grip, big grip. They look to throw. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there, second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Go line now. of scrimmage, the Stick 31 the as they line up, second go, and 10. Go. Watch tight end. Four down, four down. Alert. Let's go. They'll look to throw. They'll roll him out right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It's just a gain of a couple there on the scramble, and now it's third down. Packers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and eight. They're going to look to throw. The counter here is complete. And he'll be stopped at the 27 yard line, well short of the first down marker. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings it up. Now that's no football it. right there. You don't even you have to it. really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that ball. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt, just the way you used to hit a button. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. That was a high score. Doesn't matter. <laughs> The 
the kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about him. No, don't take him totally out of the game. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Eight yards the gain on that last 70, run. Here's second and a couple. Watch the run. Watch the run. Get the edge. Get Mike. 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 He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings okay, up baby, third down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs or putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, ready, not ready. necessarily just playing with the line play. of scrimmage. Man, that's what I, that's what I do. We've got Mike 51, Mike 51. Yeah. speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. On the set. Ball up to the well, 35 the now as I'm they come up day. on first I'm and 10. 58. Five. Right. Five. 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 Let's make these this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Come. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. Go this will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. The second quarter, they're down big already. He's struggling as well. They've got to find something here. He's got to find something on this drive. And sometimes you take a little bit extra pressure on yourself and maybe have to disperse it a little bit. Lean on some other people, lean on your teammates, 
find someone who can take the pressure off and get the ball in their hands for a while. Or this, if he doesn't, this is getting out of hand or it could get worse. An incomplete Pretty pass big. leads to second and ten from All the day, 25. Set, go. Throwing again. Abraham. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. It's a lot of contact going on there, and in the end, unable to keep two hands on the football and bring it into his body. Everything looked pretty good until the finish. And this that offense on third over. down today, just one for three thus far. This is third three and three ten. Shit! Shit! From the down, Abraham. That is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Well, they bring their punter out there now. As he'll kick it away for the second time. success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan go. for. 15, How come they didn't tell body. us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what run, happened with this one is they realized that they've established the run pretty well and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. Go, but in this situation, the defense was effective, in, able to stop Knock him before you get a good head of steam going. Let's go. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back Definitely to the line ball. of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill and the play. Right and they'll need the 39 here for the first. This is third down. Hit it. They'll set up the throw. And it's complete. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go on, in the set. first half of play. Second of their timeouts as they'll stop him with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So second and inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. They'll drop the throw. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he'll get it here to the 10 yard line. It's a three yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as Go fast now. as possible. Pitch hope first. he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism hey, wins hey, on the play. Play. Now the Packers going to burn their third Go, and final Let's timeout. Go. As they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. A chance to really cap off on, a big first on, half man. here as they come up on first and goal. Now, now back to throw. say incomplete. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. Shot to try and get six. 
six, but with what little time was left on the clock, I think it was a smart play. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, calling the 24-yard line. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a round. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen? as we send you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded a few yards into the end zone, and no run back here. Come this on, will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is. Right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a really I'm doing it, though. This is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Go. The last run got Eight three. Feet. Now here's Watch second and seven. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Ready, ready. They'll run it now. How's it going? And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare yeah. afternoon continues. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On the double. 58, 58, Mike. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Set, go. On third and two. Abrams has it. Good play. And he will have Let's first go, down Bring yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Seven yards on the quick slant and a first down. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Ready, ready. 70, Indy. I got you. I got you. Get it. Just a yard on the first down, Carol, so it's second and nine. Continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Let's go. Here's second and play. nine, just a yard on that last watch, run. Watch the run, watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. He's soft, Big trip, big trip. Operating for the guy, Abraham. That one complete to driver. And this is going to result in another here. first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 45-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Get 
down. So into Packer territory Gator. now. Here's screen, first and 10 screen. at the 45-yard line. What screen? What go? From the gun, Abraham. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing yeah, each other's moves big. all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. They'll run it now. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Here we go, Here's here we play go. number seven Ten on the drive. Mobile. This is third hey, and seven. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Two. Operating from the gun, Abraham. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And this is going to result on, in another now. first let's down go. as the tackle's made at the Packers' 32-yard line. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Here we go. This quarterback 15, now, line. 8 of 15, 15 through the air, but switch, it's first switch, and switch. 10 here. All right. Second down. Ready, ready. Mike, 51. Push him back. Push him back. Step. Crap, crap, second crap. down. It's Baker. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this year. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive is going pretty well. I think they're going back out. He's got Adams on the hookup. And this Let's is going to result baby. in another Let's first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 16. This Set. quarterback ten, now, two, five straight completions here in this second oh, half, first and ten. <laughs> now a handoff here to his running back. And this play gets blown up. Well, the lose yardage back no at the 17. You want no problem for me. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. Well, it's the same old song, isn't it? And then right now, this one doesn't sound too sweet. They've been thoroughly outclassed so far. And there's another tackle for a loss. Yeah, that's something that we've said quite a bit in this game. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. We want it! Ready, ready! Second and 11. is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Let's go now. An incomplete pass on that ball. last play, and that go means they'll need to come go up go with go something go here on go third go down. Go. Let's go. Two-yard line there go. before crossing over out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Whether or not 
that the receiver had possession of the ball as he went out of bounds. And they have to make sure that the receiver got both feet down in bounds as well. challenged the play it, it did not pay Pittsburgh. off and that means he lost a timeout in that challenge it is a coach you hate that don't know if you took the advice of the player you two of yourself but it didn't go your way at the end of the day it all comes back to the head coach he has the final determination of whether to actually challenge the player or not in this case it didn't pay off for him and that's got to be so heartbreaking you throw that flag you probably feel really confident and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose Ready? the challenge. And yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you, you believe you're going me. to be you right. And when it comes back Speed the other way, you have to regroup. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And his guys are able to cut into that deficit. Second effort there, he was determined to find pay dirt, and he did. I think that's a great example of what coaches talk about a back that runs behind his pads, and he uses pads to get him into the end zone. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And the lead is down to 24. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past Let's the 30 yard go. line. ready to get their next drive underway. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too high. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. Their one, two, three is that they can punch it in for six points. But also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Second and five Mike, after the five-yard right right completion there, on first down. I got it! Hit it! Now they'll run it on the toss. Right, right, right. And he'll get up near the 45 they'll spot it at the 44. Seven yards there at a first down. You know how we get focused at end of the half and end of the game situations about how much time's on the board and you know what you need to do? Sometimes you don't even have to worry about ready, that. Ready. That's just smart football. Eight, three. You know, that kind of a lead, stand in bounds, quiet. it burns clock, even Two. in a situation that we're not really focused on. Open down the middle of the field. And they'll get him down That's as he's open. inside the 40. Give him 18. It's a Carolina first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Let's go. So on the other side 70. of the field now, it's first and ten, as they've got things rolling on this drive. And I He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. 
tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. All day, just like that, just like that. Snap! And again, this time to the tailbone. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Let's go, defense! Let's go, defense! Back to throw here. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? We'll see what they decide to do. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Here we go, here we go. 30, they'll 30 come base. up with a second and five. Watch the pass, watch the pass. Here we go. Ready, ready. They'll run it now. Here we go. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't Ready get a break. whole lot better there. Mike 51. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Let's go. From the gun on third down, Abraham. It's caught Jones. And he will have a here first we go. down here, we go. here at about here we go. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Go. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Let's go, fellas. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Set, ready? 15, Lonnie. 15, Lonnie. Right, right, right. He's done right. Get it. On first and 10. Oh, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards on the pickup there. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with on the his ball, size. On the ball, come the on. slot receivers do the same thing Go, with Mike their quickness, their speed, and their route running. 
They go play action here on first down. Not going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the Boy, same that, grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same <laughs> surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Let's go. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And he'll be brought down. That's a face match. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face match. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Hurry, hurry. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 Mike, against Mike, your squad. Now 51. it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Throw in the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. Go now. They've blanketed hey, the field stop. the entire game Come using a variety Army, of coverages. Army, Army. After the incompletion, here's Dude. second and 10 from the 12. Second and 10. That is caught inside the five. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Jet the ball! Quickly, Jet they the get ball. to the line. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51! Watch the ball! And that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel hustle, good hustle, about hustle. what's going on, and they just the play better and the better. They'll go again from the three now. here on second and goal. Second and three. And it's caught. Touchdown. From three yards out. And his guys are able to close that gap just a bit. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. A try here for the extra point. And the lead is down to 24. That time, a nine-play drive. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Let's go. Let's go. Carolina getting set to take the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with it? I would think that they would because the if they were confident enough to do it on Let's the last go. drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why Five. would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Ready? 60 Pittsburgh. Trying to 
for a chain right, mover. Six. They're all the way down Let's inside the 40 hey, now for first and 10. Ready, up, ready, ready. Looking to throw. And it's a short one here. Up the to the tight end. And brought down, but not before. Okay, inside baby, the 25. It's go. a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Well, clear running situation. Trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You die for the running play, and they hit him over the top. Here we go. 60 or. A go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say go. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On the ready. The run only Tonight. got a yard. Here's second and yeah, nine. Let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball right here. Get it. And he'll give it here. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact ready, ready. or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay up right, see the field, and make a run as we just said there. someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take it like two at this point. You just go ahead and play. Let's go. Eight, three. Strip the ball. Strip that ball. Let's go. First down, he'll drop the throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. All just day, inside baby. the 20 at the 19. We well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Yo, Now they're running on the toss. And it's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. The so now then, the penalty's Five, got him set up with Let's a go, first D, and up. goal. Let's go, D, tighten up. Two. Now they'll run on the ball. And they see right through that defensively Later. as he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Now That's from the 50, nine, play. here's second and goal. Watch the car! Watch the car! 
And I... They'll keep it on the ground. Blanche. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's what I'm talking about. second down play nice hit, results boy. in a loss of two yards. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? They've been go, stuffed go. twice here for losses. Later. Now it's third and goal. Hey, they scared. They scared. Yeah. They're right here on third and goal. Call it no gain on the play, so no yeah, help baby. there. Yeah, now baby. fourth and goal. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend, don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. And his kick is good. And that push the lead out from 23 up to 27. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you say. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple Let's extra go. yards Let's up to the 27-yard line. So here are visitors to take over on offense. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge. It's almost like, Coach, what do you what want to got? call? He just waved a hand like, Fine. who cares? It's like, yeah, we're going to do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone, eventually that oh, becomes man on oh. man. And you've got to trust yourself <laughs> and go up in that moment of truth and make a play. Yeah, Rebound is a second down throw. It's knocked away and incomplete. Now, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw, and they're under 200 yards passing for the game, so they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game on, where a quarterback set, had a streak of five line. straight games without a 200-yard game, and that was a big time both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them. Decided in the closing seconds, so they bring out their punter as the drive goes backwards. So he's on the punt away.